I grew up in Homa, south of New Orleans, and growing up in a sleepy town, it really requires that you have a pretty good imagination in order to just pass the time. So that creative line started way back then and continued to cast it. My grandmother had four daughters and she made all of their clothes. She willed me her Sanger sewing machine. That's a big deal. I felt a little obligated to actually learn to use it. Once I got behind the machine, I realized why she gave it to me. I think she knew that I would love it, but she was a little bit too old to actually work on it with me. When I get behind the machine, sometimes I find myself talking to my grandmother. And that's a really fun experience. When my friends and I were freshmen in college, we had this great idea to be where the wild things are for Halloween. And we designed our own costumes and we made them ourselves. There was fur all over my freshman dorm and it was amazing. That was the first costume I designed. Playing around and showing off and performing in the streets of New Orleans was a game changer for me. I remember going to bed and thinking, I'm home, this is where I belong. New Orleans is an amazingly inspiring place. Every year for Mardi Gras or every party, anything like that, I will get inspired to make the next costume or the next costume. I also get inspired by nature, fantasy, my imagination in general, seeing random art, color schemes, animals. Nature documentaries are very inspiring for my uh, costumes. One time I was feeling a little writer's blocky about my Halloween costume and I was dragging on the ground and I saw some blue dog graffiti on the sidewalk in New Orleans and I was like, blue dog, that's a great costume. So it was blue dog that year. I collaborate with other artists. The biggest collaboration between myself and others has been Crew de Flora, and that's been the biggest part of my costume career for the last three years. It's a walking crew for Mardi Gras. It's a bunch of amazingly talented, creative ladies. I create a prototype. I help them, each of these 30 ladies, create their own giant flower costume. All the women come out with something very different from, you know, my first prototype and they all look really amazing and they inspire me. Basically, what turns out is we're a living garden that takes over the streets during these parades. It's cool. Costumes range in difficulty. Sometimes I'll surprise myself and come out with one real fast. But usually uh, these costumes take from a day to a week and then maybe even more, sometimes a month to complete. I have a bunch of different favorite uh, materials to work with right now. I've been working with wire a lot to make these amazing headpieces. I also like working with fabric in general, but not as fabric, like gluing it and doing fun stuff with it. And um, glitter. I've also been working with epoxy a lot lately. It's gooey, but I like it. Right now, I'm really excited. I'm getting together inventory for my own Etsy site called Sugarcane Costumes. I'm excited. It's gonna be a bunch of headpieces that are really interesting and strange. I don't consider myself an artist as much as I consider myself a designer. I like to take a problem or a challenge or an idea or an outfit and make something that rises to that challenge. One of my favorite things about Mardi Gras is watching people gain this amazing new confidence when they're in their new costumes, feeling like they can be whoever they want. They can be something they've always dreamed they wanted to be. You wanna be a dragon? I'm a dragon today. It's amazing. And I feel like in a strange way that's very similar to what happens at Painting with a Twist. At the beginning of a class, people will be like, I can't do this. 
and they're so low. And then by the end of class, they have this new confidence. They're like, I can't believe I did this. And you can see something new inside them. And I think that's beautiful. Painting with a Twist has been so many different things to me in my career. In a past life, I graduated in architecture from Tulane. So I'm able to use my degree in architecture to help build out and design the new franchises. Eventually, I realized that I could leverage a costume career and work at Painting with a Twist, and those would work really well together. It's so great to do so many different things for Painting with a Twist, and I still get to work on a costume career. I'm the funnest, right? I don't do any weird Oh, I feel comfortable. Why are we wearing pants? <laughs> My design philosophy is to make fur, furry uh, outfits for my cats. My design philosophy is plant wear. Outfits for your plants. As a middle child, <laughs> growing up, a little oil child. I always forget, if you put it on camera with Goose, it might go in the final thing. You know, little, little, little.